Let's bring guys. in Patrick uh, Risch, director of the sports, pro, uh, sports business program at Washington University in St. Louis. You've been a frequent guest, uh, Patrick. Never in a million years would we have thought we'd be talking about uh, what we're talking about today. There's nothing, nothing happening in the sports world. Yesterday was my 50th birthday. I thought I was going to remember it for other reasons, not for the reasons that happened. It was an unprecedented day, and I think that, again, Adam Silver, the NBA commissioner, really led the way as he has many times. And now you see the NHL, of course, what they've done. Guys, you know who I feel horrible for, and maybe I'm biased because I'm here in St. Louis, I feel bad for the XFL. They actually had done pretty well for a spring football league, and the St. Louis team had the highest attendance of any team in the league. So it really kills their momentum in their first year. Yeah, um, I, I've seen it on and it, having some, some dinner at some sports bars and stuff and ha have had no interest in it, but there were, were some people that, that were watching. That's going to take a few years, I guess, and this is, uh, this is a tough one for them because they were just maybe getting a little bit of traction, right? Well, the good thing for them, Joe, is that at least Vince McMahon has put in a half billion dollars. He did that because he plans for this league to last at least three to four years to build up some momentum, just like any startup. You know, the folks that I really feel bad for, folks, is the service sector employees at these venues, the hotels and the lodging. You know, the one thing about the NBA, the NHL, Major League Soccer, they can push their seasons back into the summer and be okay. But March Madness, by canceling this, and not just March Madness, guys, but the wrestling championships, the hockey championships, the College World Series in Omaha, these are big room nights and restaurant nights, visitors coming into the city. So it's a real hit to those communities. I, I feel right. bad for the kids who are never going to get another shot at this. Of course. Absolutely. I know. Senior day, the senior game is, is always very emotional and sad enough and there's no none of these seniors get to even go in the tournament now for or, or any of the tournaments for the individual leagues either it's, right. it's really and Rutgers Michigan game got canceled right before they tragic. were supposed to play it yeah. Well, what, what's interesting is, you know, with March Madness, people are somewhat cynical. You don't see a lot of seniors. But, guys, I was at the wrestling championships last year in Pittsburgh. I was doing a study at that event. And to see some of the parents having to console their senior wrestlers when they lose before the championship match, it's very emotional. It's, it's fun as a fan to see that emotion. So, as yeah. you say, a lot of those seniors aren't going to have that moment. So what about TBS, TNT, CBS, uh, I mean, stations that I never watch, I, I watch during March Madness? I mean, you can just add up the, the lost revenue there, can't you? Well, you can, but, you know, Joe, the one thing you can do there is you can just extend the contracts one year. I think that that's something that would be easily negotiated. Okay. Uh, DraftKings and, and FanDuel, we talked about that. What are those? They're definitely going to take a hit, uh, those oh, businesses. Absolutely they're going to take a hit. I mean, again, this year with as many states now have legalized betting, it's a huge loss to handle in the, in the sports, and especially March Madness. Basketball and NHL, there's not as much action as you have, say, in the NFL, but March Madness, a huge hit to the, the Nevada as well as the state gambling houses. ESPN, F Fox Sports, what? It's, they're going to be running, you know, Sports Center 24 hours a day. Right. Uh, pretty much, or they, they might go back to, uh, you know, ESPN used to have an ESPN Classic. They may, might make that uh, a kind of a main uh, affair for what you're going to see on their program and going forward. Right. W what about, um, I mean, the stadiums, and we've talked about sort of the damage to, to, to service workers. I don't know if you saw Kevin Love. Uh, donated $100,000 uh, $100, yesterday. I think, I imagine maybe other players will follow suit to try to help people uh, that, that work at that Cleveland Stadium. But sort of how you think about that damage over time? Well, Andrew, hopefully, you know, again, if, if these seasons are just suspended and they make up a lot of the regular season games, then hopefully that minimizes the damage. But you're right. If there are games canceled, and I think the one that's most at risk is Major League Baseball, because unlike the other leagues, they're not going to have the luxury to push their season into November and December. They can't because of weather. But real quickly, guys, insurance. I had a conversation yesterday with the general counsel of an NBA team. Most of these buildings are insured for uh, business interruptions, but it's usually because of some kind of a hurricane, an earthquake, and unless there's language in the contract that talks about infectious disease, they may not be able to use insurance to get back lost revenue. Hmm. What else was I thinking? I guess that's uh, anything else, that, the ramifications that, that what, uh, Olympics, I guess, is still on everybody's minds at, at this point. When is... Is there time? The, uh, my understanding of the view is that it has to be done probably last week of April, first week of May is sort of drop dead, that you sort of need a three-month window to truly cancel it before the costs become exponential. 
and so, yeah. so no, and you're absolutely right and again just a, a localized perspective here in st louis st louis is supposed to host the u.s olympic trials for men's and women's gymnastics in the middle of june so if if the olympics is canceled guess what that event doesn't come in and you feel for all these sports commissions the, march madness there was eight pods right uh sacramento columbus st louis these folks, it takes two or three years to plan to get these things. You bid on the event, and then you have to plan, organize all the hospitality, and all that work is for naught. But at least in that case, the NCAA bids these things out about four years in advance. So what they'll likely do is they'll give all this year's host cities a chance to host again in, say, four years.